Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we have a special one for a special subscriber. This is for Kevin. Kevin has been recommending Robert Palmer to us for the past, what, several months? About two months. Yeah, the past two months. Yeah. And um, we've been promising to get him a Robert Palmer song. And so today, this one is for you, Kevin. This is Addicted to Love. Live in New York City, 1997. This particular recording, what well, Robert Palmer is older yeah, well, in, yeah. his, in this performance, yeah. but it does sound a lot like the original. So it, surprisingly enough, it did mm -hmm. because you know how most well. Well, first off, this came out in 1985. Okay, the song came out. The song came, comes so this out. Is, so this is 12 years later. So this is 12 years later, and you know how often. Singers yeah, change, you know, vocals change, voices, right. all that and, kind of and, stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do stuff to you know fit their voice and their range now and all that kind yeah. of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And the cool part about this is that in this, at least in this particular, uh, in this particular performance, he was actually doing all the stuff that he did in the that original. you would expect to hear by listening on the record. Uh -huh. And I'm like going, wait a minute, you know, his voice is. I mean, it may be lower. maybe an octave lower, but or I mean a little bit lower. But when he was, but all the stuff that people tend to leave out in a live performance, he he's kept in. He's doing it. And I'm like, going, hey, this is pretty cool. So, I haven't listened to the original one, so, so this is going to be a first for me. But when we were going through picking the video and trying to see, you know, which one, you know, was good to use, Dad had heard the original one, so I said, hey, what do you think about? this song how how much does it mirror the original record because you it's had close. heard it and i haven't asked you that many times right which one mirrors it's, because i was i was just talking to you about that the other day when we were right. when we were going through john mayer because you hadn't heard of john mayer and i said well now you're hearing what i'm talking about differences between the live performances in the studios right. and 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 whatnot because i couldn't find a john mayer performance right. that was like the original and you just find this out as well uh, I know you haven't been to many concerts, no, but I haven't. But I've been to a lot of concerts, and I've been disappointed because a lot it didn't of sound like the record because it wasn't what I was expecting. Right, and it was just like, you know, man, you know. So this is one this, that you would one, have been expecting if you were at this performance, right? And I would have been pleasantly surprised be because he wasn't leaving stuff out. Right. Okay. So, which is, you know, which is pretty cool. So, what's um, the song about? <clears throat> Other than you're addicted have, to love, what type of love are you addicted to? Because <laughs> um, there are many different definitions of love. To be well, you are you are correct. And to be honest, it was he wrote that the song, and this is a quote that uh, said that he wrote the song about what it's like having an addictive personality. Don't ask me. That's all. That's all that it says. Okay. So, I guess an addictive personality is something, is a personality that you would have that needs to keep being fed. Okay. Okay? Whatever that personality, whether good or bad. Whether good or bad, okay. Okay. You know, so, in this particular case, addicted to love, he's, you know, he's got all these symptoms of things, and he's basically saying... Doctor, what's wrong with me? You're addicted it, to love. Gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. So, what I thought was really interesting, though, and then we're going to listen to this, and you'll just hear. Okay. Uh, number one, um, little fact, was that it charted number one in the U.S., charted number five in Great Britain. Okay. And, but the funny, but the, I guess, ironic part, little, little backstory here, is that, he originally wanted to do this as a duet with another singer by the name of Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Okay. And, and um, you know, we might do some of her stuff later down the road. Okay. But uh, just so you can hear it. But anyway, so he actually recorded it with her as a duet. And her record label said, uh, uh, We're not allowed we're to not put out allow, your We're not going to allow her to do this. So he had to, you know, erase... Her voice out of there, any of the high notes that she actually would have hit, they had to replace with something else, right? Mm -hmm. Now, 
And I don't know that that's all that unusual, but Chaka Khan appeared on another guy's song, another guy by the name of Steve Winwood, who at the same year had a couple of hits come out, right? And uh, he had a song called Higher Love that she appeared on. That song, Higher Love by Steve Winwood, mm -hmm. beat out Robert Palmer, Addicted, Addicted to, to love, love, for the 1987 Record of the Year. Uh, okay, so here, she was actually on his, originally, and had to be taken off, or was made to be taken off. And hers beat his. And then, and then was put on somebody else's, and that one beat is the his. one that beat this one. Yeah. So he got screwed. <clears throat> yeah, but that's okay, because he's addicted to love. Mm -hmm. Anyway... The uh, so it shouldn't matter to him, but yeah, he got beat out by you know by this other by this other song. So who I just, got I, the artist who, who got he the wanted. artist who he wanted, right? So so anyway, spurs the, the question of what did the record company have against Robert Palmer? <laughs> yeah, who, who knows? I don't know why to, to allow know. her to sing with this other artist versus with Robert Palmer. I think Robert Palmer should have come out with a song like "Death on Two Legs" at that point. <laughs> You know, against this record company, <laughs> but uh, anyway, anyway, but that's um, but that's really all I know about it. So let's go ahead and play. It'll wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to yawn. The day that this is, that this video is being recorded, I have been up since 4:15 this morning. No, 4:35 this morning. I'm right. sorry. The whole 20 minutes makes a big difference. I've been up since 4.25, 4.35, whatever it is this morning. So if you see me yawn a little bit, that's why. It's because I've been up he's, all day. He's pretty beat. So, so, and I've driven like four or five hours today. So Yeah, he, yeah. he's pretty beat. Yeah. So, so, anyway, anyway. I'm doing this for you, Kevin. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> that's exactly right. Anyway. Okay. All right. All right, man. Let's get started, guys. Let's, let's do it. Don't mind. 
Because I'm all because we've been doing a lot of videos where a lot of the singers are flamboyant or they've yeah. got something weird that they're they're dressed in or they got makeup on or whatever right. like that. I'm not used to seeing somebody in a suit singing. That's what he wore. That's what he was known for. That's what he everything that I've ever seen him in. He was wearing a suit. And, and Kevin can probably will probably correct me on this because he's the aficionado on this. But everything that I've seen him wear, I think even in the official video that came out for this, he was I think he was wearing suit and tie. Yeah. Okay, that I, that's just something that caught me off guard because I'm not, I, I wasn't used to it. I'm not used to it. I'm not. It reminded me that's of how, like... That was his big flamboyant. 1980s, totally. ni well no, 1990s. It was all in the 1990s yeah. that, you know, I mean, just when I picture 1990s. It's a lot of professional and suits and ties and you know right. briefcases and, right. and stuff like that. Right. Like if um, like old like oh like Mrs. Doubtfire movie or something like that. When IBM, you know. Right. Yeah. Another official. Yeah. Right. I don't. You don't. Well, you don't see many singers that 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 are like that. And he was wearing that the entire time. That was the outlandish outfit that he was totally different than anybody else but it, you know now doesn't have anything like to I do said, with the music but I, that's just it, something that I that I noticed and it is you know like I say everything I've seen him in he's, he's always wearing, been wearing a suit and tie. tie you know now I was not a big Robert Palmer follower so I'm just kind of surmising that that's what he that was that's his outfit you know and like I say Kevin will let us know in the comments I'm sure oh you noticed something about the drummer too I did notice something about the drummer Kevin you probably know this as well and that is that um, the, drummer the, dr for the drummer was the drummer for Bruce Springsteen right that was Max Weinberg who was uh, who was doing that the Bruce always used to call the Mighty Max the Mighty so, Max, the Mighty Max. And, um, and you know eventually you see it on the face of his drum it says you know Max, right. Max Weinberg on there. Yeah, so, uh, but anyway, so that was a kind of a neat little tie-in for me as well. But a lot of those, a lot of the little things that he did, and you wouldn't necessarily notice it, but when he, but like when 
he would sing, you know, when his voice would kind of go like from da da da, or, you know, or he would throw in some kind of a, or there'd be some almost kind of a growl type, type thing going mm -hmm. on. Those are things that a lot of folks leave off. Right. You know, they just, you know, they're just doing whatever they're doing, you know. But those are things that in the record you get used to singing to. Right, right. You get used to singing yeah. to that part, and then all of a sudden it's gone. Right. You know, he had it. He had it in there. So, so I thought that was. I have to admire him for that, for keeping little the little things in. Right. You know. So anyway, but that's that was it. That's I thought it, it, it was right. just catchy. No, all right. It, it was. This one was. So, yes, this one was. Are you saying that none of the other ones I have were catchy? You never heard those words come out of my mouth. No, but this one was. Yeah. It was snapping. It was snapping. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. anyway hope I'm, you teasing, enjoy I'm teasing you. I know. So, hope you enjoyed this reaction, Kevin. Like I said, this is for you. Absolutely. Even though I, this is just for you. I really didn't want to film tonight because I've been up since 4.30 this morning. <laughs> and Dad said, no, we've got to do Kevin's video. So you can thank him for that. You can thank him for, for, for sitting me down and even though I'm the one that's going to have to edit all this <laughs> um, and put everything together for you. So, but so hope you nonetheless, it. hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Anyway, on to the announcements. On to the announcements. All right. Hit it, guys. <laughs> Make sure to check out the request form down below if you have any songs you'd like to request like this one put those down below but be mindful Kevin was waiting a few months to get his request here that's just because we have so many songs out there that people want plus the songs that we end up wanting to do you know so just bear with us we do have your songs we do see your songs just give us a little bit of time yeah. and we'll get to them and keep suggesting them down below Make sure to check out Coffee First Scheme later up in the corner. We've had some exciting vlogs and some challenges will be coming out soon. So make sure to go and subscribe over there and get to get to see Coco in her in her uh, new environment that she's in. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's she's, got some new digs. she's got some new digs. It's really cool. So make sure to check out the Teespring link down below, guys. Whether you would like a hoodie, a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, tank top, tote bag, sticker, whatever you want, we have. <laughs> Different are uh, different um, colors, assortments, designs. We have all that stuff down in the Teespring link down below. Click on that, and that will bring up the store. I'm super tired. I'm sorry. You're good. Make sure to check out the Patreon link as well. If you don't know what Patreon is, go back throughout the week and hear me say what Patreon is because we're on Saturday, so I'm not going to dive into exactly what Patreon is. But go back later and earlier in the week and uh, check that out. I do get to thank the following patrons who have pledged to make this video possible for yep. being awesome. That would be Teresa Anderson, Hot Space, Ann Petro, Karen Barone, Sandy Thomas, Courtney Trek, Cindy Rice, and Dawn Kula. Thank yep. you so much for constant love and support of this channel and this community. A lot of you have been there with me since the beginning. And I greatly appreciate that because we lost a few people along the way. Um, but that's their loss not mine, and that's their loss, not yours. So thank you so much for sticking with me. I know it was a tough, tough time, you know, and the past month and a half hasn't been easy, uh, but we do have videos coming your way very shortly. So thank you for staying tuned and very shortly. And, and very shortly. So thank you all for sticking with us, staying tuned. Um, yeah. And, and, can I say, Shoot. just in mind for those Patreon members, Yes. Okay. Yes. The ones that the, the, the videos, things, the things that we've, that we've done, done. Yes. Had you guys in, in mind, mind specifically? So. Right. So. So. Okay. There we go. <laughs> also remember, guys, at a thousand subscribers, we will open up the PO box. So if you would like to send us any fan mail, whether that be a letter, a drawing, cookies, Snickerdoodles—that's also a cookie, peanut butter, chocolate fudge, brownies. <laughs> 
anything, if you did a postcard, whatever it is, if you want to send us something, that is your opportunity. But we got to hit a thousand first. That is the goal. That is the reward. Once we hit a thousand, so make well, you'll sure know when we hit a thousand. Yeah. So make sure <laughs> if you would like to help us achieve that goal. That you subscribe down below. But even if you don't want to help us achieve that goal, but you just want to stay connected, stay involved, or you just want to see what we've got going on here every single day, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. It is free, and you won't regret it. Yep. So, yep. Yes, we're good. All right. Before you, before you ask me. All right. Yeah, we're good. So man. if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.